Plasma is a state of matter in which the electrons are ripped off of atoms or molecule to produce a soup of charged particles. And we find them on the, on the sun or in a candle flame or a fluorescent light bulb. In all those traditional plasmas, this, the plasma is very hot because energetic collisions are required typically to rip the electrons off the atoms and molecules. But in my laboratory, we form some of the coldest plasmas that we, we know of. These are at temperatures approaching absolute zero, maybe one degree above absolute zero. And there are a lot of things that are really interesting about these systems. They certainly behave in very, very interesting and, and novel ways that we see new phenomena, but they also are great platforms for studying fundamental plasma physics phenomenon because when they're colder, they're moving a little more slowly. We can understand their conditions uh, much more precisely than in more energetic environments. So one of the things that we've just done, we applied a magnetic field to the plasma that was actually able to, to trap and confine these ultra cold plasmas. So using magnetic fields to confine plasmas is, is a, a very big and important endeavor in plasma physics. Uh, it's used for uh, magnetically confined um, uh, fusion experiments, for example. And understanding how the plasma interacts with the magnetic fields is, is one of the great challenges of plasma physics. The plasmas that we create on this table are you know, about the, the size of your pinky. You know, it's, about, it's about a millimeter in size. Um, and they dissipate uh, within a millisecond. The plasmas themselves will expand into the vacuum chamber um, within tens of microseconds. And so, you know, by using these magnetic fields, we were able to enhance their lifetime, uh, you know, up to you know about a millisecond time scale. Um, but you know, it's it's very very short time scales that these things work on. It's a lot of fun coming into the lab um, every day. It's just it's so interesting. I think to um, apply like. Laser cooling and trapping is not something that's new in experimental atomic physics. That's just kind of like our the bread and butter. Um, but it's really exciting to me to like apply this um, really interesting technique to like a totally new um, like material. Uh, people don't generally laser cool and trap plasmas. So I mean, this lab was the first lab to laser cool a plasma. So we're very excited now to have ultra cold plasmas with magnetic fields and in a con configuration that can trap the plasma so we can study some of this fundamental plasma phenomenon. For example, magnetic fields are very important for the way that the solar wind, charged particles from the sun, interact with the Earth. The Earth's magnetic field protects us from some of those harmful particles and actually the geometry of the field we use for trapping our plasmas here is similar to the magnetic field that the solar wind interacts with when it comes and reaches the Earth.